I was not mistreating him. I was just playing. That's how we play with each other. Ah, you see, I'm mistreating you. No. I'm not mistreating him. Watch the video Kura called her husband a houseboy at the end as more details reveal. Finally, finally, Kura and her husband have unfollowed themselves on Instagram. Oh. Now, wow, not be smarting, no, not be smarting at all, at all. This kind of matter for my village. Then the detox say, What's up, don't pass Gary, oh, Kura and her husband, eh? What is actually happening to these two now? What is actually going on? Even when the sister has joined her to beg, it seems as if the matter is not resolving at all, eh? What is going on? Finally, they have unfollowed each other on Instagram. Eh? At least people were thinking it's a joke. They are just cloud chasing. They are playing prank. But the way it is going this time around, I don't think it is prank. Oh, I don't think it is cloud chasing. No, the thing is going. It's taking extra mile now to the extent that they have unfollowed each other on Instagram. Eh? Anyway, sure, people can divorce, but the way this their own divorce came, I, I am not happy about it at all. The man, irrespective of what this lady has done to you, according to yourself, you said she is cheating, she is doing this, doing that. Eh? It shouldn't have been this time that she just put to bed. Do you know the stress of putting to bed? Do you know the stress that is involved? Eh? To the extent, even when they did live video, the man was still quarreling her threatening saying okay say what repeat what you said repeat what you said with a hundred percent anger eh when you listen to his voice you know how anger he is people were still supporting that no it's just a joke but to this extent where they have unfollowed each other on instagram take a look at their instagram pages they are no longer following each other again so what is the next line of the story is it that they are still joking is it that they are still playing prank is it that they are still cloud chasing? Are they still selling their books? Are they still trying to promote their Instagram pages according to what people are saying? I don't understand these people at all. Other than what I'm saying and what I can say so far, let us consider some reactions on social media before we continue our discussion. This writer said, The man is tired with good photos, displaying your private part on the public, something you're supposed to kept in secret place too bad the other writer has said this our generation don't have the kind of heart our parents and grandparents had if divorce will make you have peace then go ahead this writer also wrote i am not convinced yet you two must marry by fire by force with social media in-laws won't flow with all this thank you my correct people them i don't understand she herself is as if she's not bothered at all she's busy promoting her brands wearing what the husband is even against it well i don't understand this our generation or just as some social media in-laws have said that this our generation the way people dress the way people show themselves in the public is not worth it at all our parents and our grandparents never did that to their husband and wives, eh? but her own generation, nobody can tell. Imagine what is happening and she's still happy going around, promoting her brand, doing certain things that I didn't even want to bring up to you on this video. Maybe subsequent video, I'm going to show you. So me as a man also, I wouldn't like my wife to be displaying this kind of uh, attitude on social media, but it depends, it varies men or women or human beings are not the same but where i am looking at is sometimes if marriage will not work people shouldn't even start it because children are at the receiving end of it children are the ones that are going to pass through the suffering of any divorce marriage the man is going on his own maybe probably marry another woman the lady on her own probably marry another man as the case may be or begin to do olocho as it is so one that, thing I noticed in this Cora and Justin marriage, eh, people love them so much. People love them being together. So people are not happy the way things are going. To the extent, Blessing CEO, 
has to come and say something about it. Blessing CEO who claims to be a relationship analyst. According to Blessing CEO, I have never prayed for any couple like I am praying for both of them. Why am I even crying? If one could beg people to stay married, I swear I will beg you both. Bikonu, work it out. Please, we love you both. We are sorry, Biko, don't divorce. Now will not be my prayer point. Love you both, praying for you. As I said earlier, a lot of people are not happy with the development at all. Another person here where his name be Solomon Bushi don't follow Conchuk Matsa for this matter. So say the thing, no sweeter matter. See what in right. Why did Kora's husband bring it online? Well, because they are an online couple. She's been the one putting him out there in her videos. If he doesn't speak up first to the public, the narration can be manipulated by her to her fans. He needed to make it public. And the best way to treat a narcissistic and unkind person who is highly loved is by putting it out publicly too. So he, I justified him bringing the issue on social media. To the women saying he would have waited more cause she just gave birth. You are insensitive and hypocritical. Because he just gave birth means that he should spy in silence. He is a human being with emotions. And some women are shouting postpartum depression. So PPD is responsible for her cheating. Being narcissistic for years now, according to him, women will not get to Wahala, I swear. No be smart thing though, the matter can't change the level though. Everybody with his or her own opinion, a lot of opinion, a lot of contributions. Eh, which one are we going to follow now? People are passing through emotions there and other people are here giving different judgment, giving different opinion, different suggestion. Hey, oh my God, this life, eh? The life balance, oh? Anyway, sure, whatever it is, however it is, what they are doing there, whether they are enjoying it or not, so whether they are doing the right thing or they are doing the wrong thing, you know, most of us, it is giving us an opportunity to make noise, an opportunity to talk and talk and talk because we don't have words to talk. It is when it comes like this that we talk. So guys, anyway, but if you ask me personally, I am not happy about this situation at all. I said it earlier. Where me, I base my own problem is the children because the children, I will grow up and sometimes I want to go and visit my dad separately. I want to go and visit my mom separately. It's not worth it. That is why marriage should be forever and ever. If you know it will not work, don't even go into it. If it will work, stay there and manage it. Sometimes marriage is being managed. Our parents manage it. Try to make it work. Anyway, let us move forward. But come to think of it, I know see the lady too, no they try at all. Hey, yes, some kind thing, see dance, see married woman. Eh, which kind of rubbish be that one? See the kind dance, married woman is dancing. No, oh, if not that your husband, eh, this man has really tried. The, the man has tried to be sincere. The man has really, really tried. But I still wish they can work out things. So guys, at this point, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next update that comes your way. Till we meet again, same station. Bye. Finally, they have unfollowed each other on Instagram. Here is a video that surfaced online which shows how Kura treats her husband as a house help. Watch. I arrived. I don't like these jackets. You didn't say what kind of jacket. Would you like one of your jackets or my jacket? Yes, my jackets. Okay. This is. Hold, hold this in shape. It's okay, I'll wait. No, I'll be right back. I'll wait. This is the postpartum enjoyment. Your husband becomes your what? House boy. <laughs> anyway, this slime is. Thank you. Come on, put this one back before you scatter my house. <laughs> I'm taking the piss. <laughs> this one was from the Grammy Recording Academy.